Victoria Aaliyah and I am back with a quick video on how to upload full pictures on Instagram. So I made this video a while back but I think it needs some updating so I thought I would come on here and do that. So if you like those type of videos make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe so you know whenever I post and let's get into it. So first things first, when you want to upload a full picture on Instagram, which I'll put right here, is you want to get everything in the photo. So if you want a full photo, make sure you're, you know, positioning yourself in a certain way where you have space either above your head or below your um, feet. If you have both, that's even better because when you have to crop, then you know that your whole body will still be in that photo. iPhones allow you to utilize like the different um, lenses so you can always zoom out so that you can get more in that picture. So do it that way. When you have the picture of your choice, you know, you can edit it and all that and then you can go into the next step which is getting the proper sizing for your photo to upload on Instagram. Okay, so now I'm gonna screen record so that you can see exactly what I am doing. Now that you have that, you go into your photos, right? And for this, um, I'm gonna use these photos here to show you how to crop them. What you wanna do is, once you have the photo, as you can see, I do have space above and below my feet, so it's perfect so that I can get my whole body in. You wanna click on edit, and then you wanna click on that crop button down below. And at the top right corner, the first icon shows all the crop ratios. You wanna go over and click five by seven. That's the best option for Instagram. As you can see, the other ones are a little bit, um, this one is too narrow. This one is good too, but if you want like a really good size, seven by five is the best option. So you can fit, still fit everything in that photo. Then you wanna click done and that's the photo. I'm gonna go through, do all of them so you can see again. You don't want the square one, by the way. You wanna keep it like that. Done. All right, so what you wanna do is you go into Instagram. As you can see, I already have the photos uploaded on here, but I'm gonna show you how I did it. So you click, you know, you add your photo. And as you can see, I have the first photo here. I'm gonna do this one. And what you wanna do is you wanna zoom out. So there is an icon on the lower left side. You press that so that you can see those two sides where it's dark, right? It won't upload like that. And then you can click multiple. You will see them all zoom out like that because I pressed that button. And then you click next. You click next and I won't share it because I already have these on my Instagram but once you click share it will end up looking exactly so it will end up looking like this so as you can see it's all full Got everything in the photo, nothing's cut off. And it's perfect. These are some, these are my other photos that I've uploaded that full size as well. I'm gonna show you an example of how like they normally look on Instagram in case you wanna see like a side by side. Let me go into my archives to show you like old photos of how they were like that. So this is the typical sizing on Instagram where it's just like that square. You don't have a lot of head space or foot space, but it still works. But if you want to take up the whole screen 
and you want it to take up the whole screen but you don't want those ends that's how you go about uploading it you don't want if they're when your pictures are like you want your pictures to take up the whole screen when someone's scrolling on Instagram just to you know look nice like look how this takes up the whole screen you see okay so like I mentioned previously this earlier in this video this is an updated video I made a video similar to this almost two years ago and it got a lot of views but I realized that some things have changed since the last time I've done it so I wanted to come on here initially I said it was an 8 by 10 which was a lot larger I don't know if with the updates um, Apple changed like their ratio um, their size ratio on you know the iPhone but that's no longer there so seven five by seven is the next best thing that allows you to still upload that full photo and yeah I hope that was helpful please let me know if you have any questions by commenting down below and yeah I hope this helped you to really you know put out your best photos because we don't like the whole because you know you don't want to put something and then you have to crop your foot out or have your hair out you know you want to have everything so yeah hope this was helpful and I will see you in my next one once again make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this on how to post on you know social media and I'll see you in my next one bye <music>